Okay, so I realised that the topic I'm going to speak this morning is a heavy topic, is on analytics. The fourth industrial revolution, which is today, 21st century, we are now in end-to-end digital systems, internet of things, AI, robotics, as well as data analytics. So the world has moved on to the autonomy phase. Analytics is nothing more than the systematic identification and quantification of the people drivers of business. So you want to move from uh, being very reactive to be, being a very proactive business partner, okay? So in analytics, we look at a lot of business data, we look at people data, we try and integrate the two together so that we can improve employee performance. So if you look at the six mega trends that's happening today, what is the, this impact of digital transformation in today's world? So jobs are going to move, mid and low level jobs involving manual tasks are going to come down. All of you are HR practitioners, so when you go back to your workplace, the kind of skill set that you're going to train your employees are going to be very new in creative talents because learning is going to be non-stop. It is not something that you have to deploy, depend on your employer. Learning is a lot of self-directed learning. The soft skill set, the creative talents are going to be more high in demand wow. because your routine tasks are going to be taken over by machines, mm -hmm. right? So which means that the more creative you are, the more talents you have, the more multi-skilled you are, the more value you're going to bring to your employer. Computational thinking is going to be the next biggest skill set. The slowest to catch up with what is happening in the tax space actually is public policy. A lot of governments have not caught up with what's happening. They don't know what to do. Individuals are actually much more adept with technology. Oh. But the, the problem is the public policy is the slowest. A lot of governments have not caught up. That HR practitioners have to work with our leaders, we're able to redesign the new organisation because of technology, of what's happening in the, in the digital space. You will lose your job is a matter of time because a lot of the routine tasks are now overtaken by uh, AI. Shortlisting of resumes is done by manual labour. Now it's all using AI. Having the ability to have sophisticated skills, to be able to do uh, assessments, to be able to pick really good quality candidates out from the pool that is sieved out by the AI. So why is data so important? Because organisations realise that practices is no longer good enough to have good HR practices because we don't know the things that we're doing is making an impact on the business. Okay, you want to answer questions, are you hiring the right kind of people? You want to also think about how effective are your recruitment processes. And I've been working with Ariva for the last couple of years and yes. doing training and all that. I think the, it's a very professional organisation. The topics that you're organising, the things you're doing, are, the topics are cutting edge, contemporary, and I think that they're doing a good job for the, for the whole Philippines, the country, you know, Thank you so to much. try and upskill the profession, human resource profession. Thank you.